it's just a weird thing to like be like ew bro she just didn't pay attention to the movie and was like man it was fun when they were fighting we can watch good things when we're done we have to eat our vegetables first <laughs> brett cooper watches star wars for the first time oh who's she watching it with what demon ew ew bro this guy looks nasty this guy's hair is f up and he's wearing a henley his outfit is whack his hair is whack whoever this is some freak who works at the daily wire probably we gotta hype this video up i'm gonna learn so much about star wars um oh r2d2 he is Which, in this film is that little oh my god conservatives are so far behind this is like 2013 quirky girl gamer girl comedy like they're not gonna catch up to modern comedy for like eight years at least cool so i know something i'm gonna <laughs> dislike that <laughs> wait are they dating oh my god oh no is he not like <laughs> it was like her dad <laughs> or like older brother this is boring i've been watching it for 30 seconds you motherfucker they haven't even started watching star wars currently packing to escape from my racist conservative roommate Honestly, I thought you were saying that's what she's doing is trying to get away from her racist conservative roommate because that's what he looks like too. Anyway, I'm ready to go. We're going to start the film. I have my pumpkin spice cold brew here because I'm a basic bitch. We have our popcorn. We have popcorn. Just shut up. I do not have a pumpkin spice. No way. Bro, this outfit pisses me off. Nasty ass stale jeans. Whatever the fuck those are. Fucking dumb watch that clashes with his shoes and then oh i'm too classy to just wear a regular shirt i gotta wear a regular shirt with three useless buttons in it like i'm in the fucking renaissance this fucking smug piece of shit <laughs> i hate him so much i i just i feel like i i know him already yeah i think these are yeah they almost look like yacht shoes they're not though they're like knockoff tims my God. I do know this. There's no way they're dating. There's no way they're dating, right? Her ass is not watching. This is a creepy angle, and this is a this is a creepy man. Ugh. If you're like in the star wars and you're conservative it's a huge red flag it's like really bad i only ask if they're dating because i think he called her she called him baby at one point but i might have misheard those are funny hats <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it looks familiar it looks like everyone's dad <laughs> Yeah, they're fast forwarding because fucking these two suck. We seem to be made to suffer. He's just like a whiny gay British dude. Good. You guys work for Ben Shapiro. Like, he meets most of those things. I'm not gonna lie to you. Ben Shapiro is like if C3PO was more gay and more annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. I <laughs> was a little whiny pussy. <laughs> oh my god. Luke Skywalker. Alright, come on. I was about to go to a protest. I can't abide those Jawas. Disgusting creatures. Is he think the Empire are the good guys? Because <laughs> he's like he doesn't he hates leftists right so that would mean that luke skywalker is a leftist which is like yeah <laughs> the empire is literally modeled after uh the united states in vietnam that's the whole point with nazi aesthetics george lucas was you know he had a thought or two a couple of times he he you know mostly misses in his career
But he had a couple of hits. Do you think the disgusting creatures line would be culturally insensitive now? Oh my god. This is going to be the worst video I've ever seen. I'm glad I skipped to the beginning because I don't... Should we rewatch? <laughs> I just wanted to skip to them watching and watch a little bit of it. But I think I have to watch this part too. Oh no, they did a crawl. Oh god. Oh no. No one wants me to watch it, so I'm not going to. Wait, what's the disgusting creatures? Can't abide those Jawas. Disgusting creatures. <laughs> Do you think the disgusting creatures line would be culturally insensitive now? They'll probably find a problem with it. It doesn't matter. It's Star Wars, you motherfucker. Like, they're also not getting the point of, they're like, leftists would miss this joke. Why are the camera getting so dark? Fuck you. Um, leftists will get this joke. Uh, it's because <laughs> C-3PO is right for being racist. This is Alex, and he was rescued last night by Louise, and he's very, very hungry. Oh. Very underweight as well. Oh my god, I think we've seen this before. Sorry about the banana, it's a bit cold. It's in the that was a good banana, uh, banana bat break. No. Oh. Chewbacca looks high. Should I have? It's a ship that made a He's baked. He's coming. Yes, I bet you have. Boom. In the first alteration of this movie, mm -hmm. George Lucas was like, Yeah, I don't like how Han Solo always shot first. It makes him look like a bad guy. So they did this stuff where it made Greedo look like he shot first, and then they like, sort of shifted Harrison Ford over, and then he then he shoots in defense. She is not listening. She is not listening. Yes. Okay. But it takes away from how much of a badass. Okay. Shut up. So that's where the stop meme talking. Han shot first comes from. Mm. That's not a meme. Uh, I guess it is, but like, oh my god, dude, you are forty six years old. Fucking, he was in the movie. Well, he was old enough. Yeah, shut up and just what's watch the, the movie. Wait, what? If all oh, she's just saying, what's the point of the ammo? Those suits do nothing if they're all getting shot. And what's the point? I don't know, man. Who cares? It's Star Wars. Chewie's like a, a big crusty white dog. Okay. Is that insinuating that Rocky looks high all the time? I mean, she actually kind of does. She looks like she has rabies or she's high. She probably does have rabies. Brett Cooper's dog probably got rabies from Brett Cooper. Even e-girl Nazis hate mansplaining. <laughs> yeah, he is mansplaining. That's funny. Oh, they, oh. Oh my God, ugh, so icky. They really, okay, they, all right. I guess we're gonna hear them talk about the movie, which is gonna be much more bearable, maybe. Oh, Chewie didn't get the medal. Do you see that Chewie didn't get the medal? Okay, yeah. he didn't say it. He probably oh, did for yes. real, though. That was good. So what'd you think? It didn't have any wokeness in it. Okay, well, there was so much in that mm -hmm. that made sense. Not, like... There are so many references that were in that film that I didn't realize were Star Wars. Right. Like the... I feel like I'm sitting in... I'm, like, I'm the third wheel in the worst date ever. <laughs> Uh, hey kid, don't get too cocky. Yeah. Um, I got a bad feeling about this. Yes, all no. of those. Okay. Um, even just memes with like R two D two and C P three O C C C three P O C three P O. Yep, I knew that. <laughs> oh my all god. All those things I just did, had no context for. She's like she can't be older than like twenty five. Like conservatives, I feel like have to act like they have a no cultural awareness to be more relatable to boomers. Like they they act like old people. Ben Shapiro is the same way. I was not driving with it at the beginning. Didn't I did not dislike it. It was just slow. That's the part yeah. of the film that I remembered. All of the Glendale esque <coughs> LA landscapes, yes. the desert. Mm -hmm. It was very slow. Once they actually started fighting, that was good. I totally forgot that obi-wan like died did all of that stuff mm -hmm. spoilers that dude was totally, i don't it was very good though yeah it's like uh the old fashioned what the fuck did she just say she said i like the part that where, where they were fighting she's 21 yeah exactly once they actually started fighting that was good bro she just didn't pay attention to the movie it was like man it was fun when they were fighting all that stuff mm -hmm. that was totally i don't it was very good though yeah it's like uh the old 
fashion hero's journey. Yeah. Oh my god, he's talking about the hero's journey. Oh my god, he's talking about the hero's journey. Uh, Executed perfectly. And the... I don't want to say animation, but the... Gra the special action? effects. Yes, yeah, special yeah. effects. It feels like it was ahead of its time. It was. Because even watching it now, oh my God, dude. it seemed high caliber in a way. It yeah. didn't high school ass discussion. No, dude, this is average. This is your at. This is the Star Wars fan with the most Riz. Let me tell you. My God, my camera is getting so. D Stop. Hello. I don't know why it's getting so fucking dark. Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the auto ISO off. I guess. Okay, she reminds me of when you're a little kid and movies are just a series of images because your brain isn't formed enough to understand. Yeah. All right, all right. I get it with the bad videos. It seemed like it was poor quality. It just seemed kind of stylistic now. But maybe that's just because Star Wars has left such an impact. Mm -hmm. And it's like that kind of thing. Oh, my like God. Like, foggy kind of shots, that sort of thing. It was very stylized. Dude, I literally, this fucking, this conversation is so bad. I want bad. I, I'm sorry I don't retain a lot of fucking entertainment and and pleasure and joy from looking at a cute animal when i know that i have to go back to watching brett cooper after <laughs> okay we can watch good things when we're done we have to eat our vegetables first <laughs> it doesn't my brain doesn't work like that i'm not gonna get distracted i need to finish this video it's about Star Wars. It's the most important thing in the world to me. <laughs> I don't want to see Brett Cooper. Too, too bad. You're here. Yeah. So watching it, <sighs> I would think like, oh, okay, this is something that might have been produced these days, but it was just a nice, you know, yes. type of genre. Yeah, there were like some techniques that were developed for the movie 2001, but this movie sort of took those and really ran with it and did things that no one had ever done before. And uh, so when people saw this in 1977, he probably made Kelly Marie Tran death threats for sure. And they were just like, ah, mm -hmm. ah, 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 that scared me. That scared me. Why does he look like that? I don't know. This really is like the worst day ever. Why just how? Yeah, what the fuck is a new pog face? Just like... <laughs> Dude, I don't even know who the fuck this is. Because we didn't watch the beginning of the video. Where are we at? 806? Oh man. Thanks for the stick bug, okay? That was a good time, stick bug. New soy jack, yeah. Scheller? Is that his name? Scheller? Ah, God. Oh, this is the worst. Oh, no. Oh, fuck me. Her producer, Scheller. I have popcorn. Not this is... Oh, God. He's got a Dark Knight poster. This dude sucks. Um, I needed to see who that was. His name is Scheller. <laughs> he's her producer. That's why he looks like her dad. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, dude. That Also, their audio is fucked. I'm sorry. You know, it blew them away just how how uh, cool the special effects were. But of course, <laughs> it's a little dated. Well, I still, I mean, it still didn't seem dated to me in a way. Yeah. Like once you get into it, at the beginning it's it definitely fine. did, but once you're into the plot yeah. and the narrative and it, you're just really following it, then you can't really tell. Um, I do think that Luke Skywalker is a bit of a beta cuck. Yeah, he's kind of, he's kind of oh. a little bitch. I so hope. Oh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> It's just so weird to say stuff like that. It's a meme. I hope that in the next films, he toughens up a bit. Um, yeah, so the next one is... The next one, like the pacing, like mm -hmm. this one's... I've changed my mind on that free speech thing. No, dude, like, it, don't like be like, oh, it doesn't look a minor. That's not important or relevant to the conversation. I, I don't know why people always say this. It literally is like a meme with like older Star Wars fans. But I really like I've watched A New Hope a lot and I've never seen Luke as like, oh, he's just like an annoying like he's so annoying and he's whiny and he fucking sucks. I've just I've never, ever, ever taken that from from that movie. I don't know why you would ever think like he goes to the Death Star. That's kind of like a it's like a big thing. It's like fucking two thirds into the movie, you know, it's just 
fucking strange. Out of all of them, this one has like the most dated pacing. Okay. Um, uh, that might be sacrilegious to say, but um, yes, I'm with you. Like the stuff in the desert, um, when Luke, I mean, uh, C-3PO and R2-D2 are sort of like together on, on yeah. the desert. Yeah, they want more funny explosions. This guy's, a, this guy's a prequel fan. He blow up a space station the size of a moon. He looks so unpassionate and I'm uncomfortable or unproportionate and I'm uncomfortable looking at him. Yeah, his head's really big. Why does this seem like the intro to old bad VHS porn? Before the jaw was. That seems like my least favorite part of probably it's the whole kind of, original it, trilogy. It sets it up nicely, but yeah. it's kind of treacherous yeah. in Weird. getting well, through it. If one were to nitpick, that would be like my nitpick. Yeah. But in the second one, the pacing is just, it's like razor sharp. And it that one feels like a modern movie in terms of the way it moves. It so. felt like the first half of this was almost like a portrait of a galaxy and a land that we don't really know. And then the set, the latter half was an action film. Yeah. Oh but they God. felt like two totally different things, which wasn't bad. It was just you kind of had to wait to get into it. Yeah. I think it's idiotic that they tried to go back in later and make Han Solo, like, not <laughs> shoot first and do all of that stuff. Because his whole character is that he just doesn't give a shit. Why do people always talk about, like, oh, the Han Solo thing when I think the Jabba the Hutt thing is much more egregious? How they put in the fucking CGI Jabba the Hutt and added a whole scene into the movie that, like, fucks up the pacing. No one ever talks about this. Solo! This is the deleted scene. So this is what they had Jabba the Hutt looked like, and then they, they cut this scene out because they didn't need it, so it was never finished. But it's cool. Understand. I just can't afford to make exceptions. I like that he looks like and sounds like Shrek. Where would I be if every pilot who smuggled for me dropped this consignment at the first sign of an Imperial starship? It's so yeah, that, that 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 got cut out. And then in fucking 1997, George Lucas was like, "Well, what if I put it in, but made him look like Jabba the Hutt from Return of the Jedi?" But Jabba the Hutt from the Return of the Jedi is not this small. He's much bigger and doesn't really move because he's so big. And then he did this. Been waiting for you. Don't let me be. <laughs> oh my god. You gonna run, did you? And it's like a two minute scene where you and like they had to like digitally move him up and like make it look like he stepped on his tail. Oh, look at this. And look how awful what that looks. Uh, I just need a little more time. And this is when they're trying to fucking leave. It's like the worst point of the movie. It's so like confusing and it comes out of nowhere. It's like genuinely really bad. But no, the Han shot first thing is the thing we talk about all the time. Yeah, exactly. And then he has his like redemptive. Like, these motherfuckers don't actually care. Thing at the end. They just want to have something to make them seem interesting that they know about Star Wars. And, yeah. But if you're making him he just does. be like a say yeah. like, oh, I, I do no harm, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, I told you about that, but if you actually watch it, mm -hmm. it lo just the execution looks so bad. Okay. And so pathetic. It's like, why did huh? they even do that? that oh, he's talking like about the Han version. shot That's first. That's why I have edit. the OG version. Untouched. So I never, so untouched, so I never have to see that shit ever again. Who were your favorite characters? He has the OG. What versions could he possibly... What version could he be watching? Because he's not watching on Laserdisc, is he? Hansa. Their house looks racist. No, it looks boring. But yeah, it also houses racists currently. And the droids. Yeah. Leia bothers me. Really? Yes. You didn't like that... She Brett Cooper is straight up just misogynistic. I don't think there's any there's any confusion about that. The only woman in the movie. She's, uh, I mean, she's sort of... She's like, Mon Mothma seems like kind of a bitch <laughs> in the movie for 30 seconds. Sort of is the damsel in, dis in yeah. distress, but at the same time... She's not, She's though. like spunky. She doesn't put up I with guess it. so, but it, there's something about her. I like... Oh my god, she thinks she's woke. Oh my god, she knows she thinks Leia is woke. She, <laughs> she definitely thinks that Princess Leia being like... A strong girl boss and like an independent character is woke. That's literally what she thinks. It's that scene where she was being rescued, and I thought that was like her best yeah. moment. Agreed. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's insane. I think that her character has to work off of like the Luke and Han Solo energy. Bro, she just hates women. That is so fucking funny i think that her character has to work off of like the luke and han solo energy mm -hmm. when she's with everybody else it just felt very flat 
and like a basic heroic like I'm not gonna give up my family whatever huh? not that that's a bad thing it was just kind of like mm, that's a trope that's been done before mm -hmm. and it didn't feel that special she felt very flat but when put into the trio the gang per se she seemed a lot more exciting but maybe that's you know sacrilegious to use the word that you just used to say that I didn't love Princess Leia but not necessarily I just liked the other I think because it, oh the other God. characters were comedic yeah uh maybe it's like sort of like her faux british we're gonna get to the next episode and she's gonna be like i don't really like lando <laughs> there's something about him <laughs> i think these guys just don't enjoy movies no he likes star wars because he watched it when he was a kid with his dad that's why anyone likes star wars now this accent that she tries to do it was, some of the time yes, and then was, she drops it yeah she felt more natural in like the friendship re like yeah. that world where she was playing off of those other characters when it was just her and like Darth and the leaders all of that kind of thing it was like she was so stiff mm. and almost like her character was playing a character in a way mm -hmm. which I thought was a bit ridiculous okay mm. uh, I don't understand what that means dude uh, and then Luke he's just he whines too much yeah he's pretty beta yeah Oh my god! For only dude, he infiltrates the Death Star like literally twenty minutes into the movie. <laughs> Holy shit! Like his, well, he, all of his reactions when like anything bad would happen, even when his aunt and uncle died, it was just like this is a normal thing. <laughs> Luke goes back too far. Okay, well that's come on. You know what I'm talking about? That I didn't want this, dude. Star Wars is filmed on film, so it's infinitely upscalable. So it'll look good forever. And I think that's just great. I, I, I love that no matter what, you can get a fucking... In 20 years from now, you can have a a 42K TV and, and still have Star Wars be upscaled to that. How does Gosh, film do that? I don't know. Sorry, now I'm just watching Star Wars. Probably lagging because I'm streaming this in 4K. Oh my god, I forgot how graphic that scene is, dude. prioritizing star wars over stream we were watching this because of the stream <laughs> he does this and then something else would happen you go oh okay i'm like give me something else now a lot of like if you were to talk i don't know i thought that was fine just a weird thing to like be like ew talk to the actors like mm. if you hear them in like interviews yeah. and whatnot they always oh, George recount Lucas. what it was like working with george yeah Lucas. he was uh -huh. a really Apparently bad writer he wasn't good with working with actors well that yeah, and in fact, yeah. he's gone on record saying that he doesn't he like directing. Actors. Yeah, and so like well, they, we all know the Star Wars trivia, you motherfucker. He's in the wrong industry. Well, they would be like, they'd be like, George, what do you want with this? And he's like, well, that's good. And he'd just say like, louder, <laughs> more sad. I mean, we've talked about this before. Where there are actors that show up on set that really, really need a director. Yeah. Yeah, probably because the only movies Brett Cooper has ever worked on are fucking dog shit conservative propaganda films so she thinks every actor is like actually terrible when and and, and like really annoying and unprofessional because she's convinced herself that she's like hollywood they kind of show up as basically gumby and they need the director to be really really good at both acting and directing and communicating with actors keep my man's name out of your fucking mouth don't mention him that's a warning. Um, and it really is a skill to be able to manage the whole production and then to like cultivate performances because yeah. there are, you know, if you're doing a new genre, if it's this kind of film, or if you are a young actor, you kind of need to be molded in a way. But if you have, you know, Luke's character that is kind of and then George Lucas who doesn't want to, is just like not really giving them anything, then I guess that would make more sense. Dude, why do people hate, so you hate Luke, and you don't think, but you don't think Leia is good unless she's around Luke and Han, then you just like Han, you stupid asshole. Yeah, see, I feel like Harrison Ford is probably one of those actors that are like that, that just show up and go, where do you want me to stand? Okay. And he's got he it. You know it. what I mean? And that's like why he's, that's why he's, he's good. He just, he, he also just, just didn't, he looks like he didn't give a shit the whole time. That's what I'm saying. He's just like, eh. Something that I really like in actors, like if I think that an actor is good is what. Yeah, I mean, Harrison Ford just has pretty privilege. He just looks really hot when he's bored, so he, that's all he does. But they're throwing away lines. Mm -hmm. And if you see somebody who's trying too hard, where it's like, oh, I'm in the moment, I'm feeling things, I'm like, 
give me a break. Like, maybe that is a character choice, but for the most part, you can tell when somebody's like, oh, I'm really going to be in it. Where I always think it's much more powerful to just, you know, oh, I don't really care, I'm throwing it away. Because in our day-to-day -day life, 99% of the time, we're not thinking. Right. I think I, you guys need to remember she's a failed actress. Remember that. She's a failed actress saying, like, I think it's cringe if you try hard. <laughs> you know, about, oh, I need to have right. this emphasis when right. I talk. And so I think Harrison Ford kind of has that attitude throughout the entire film. And that probably was. Rona's pissed off. Something, something spooked him. You're just, he's going, who, what could that possibly be? What could it be in the whole fucking world? It's almost like we have a fucking housemate that lives here. This motherfucker. I'll be right back. Yeah. I know every time you come home, you like to say our address, but I like to have a little look at your stuff. Yeah, he likes to look. I'm going to taste your cup. Oh, my God. Give me that. What the hell, man? How's it going, stream? What's up? Jordan's here. Today, we're back. He's doing the racist accent again. <laughs> no. That he's been doing off stream. <laughs> I don't do that. I don't think all those guys sound like that. <laughs> but he does. Whoa, oh my god, it's Bay. Yeah, Brett Cooper is watching Star Wars for the Wait, first what? time, and I'm watching her review. And she's with her creepy older producer, who I thought was her boyfriend and also her dad. Okay, well. Oh my god, what the hell? I, I could not get <laughs> over how hideous his outfit was. Dude, he looks like a weird creative character. Yeah, he does, right? What's wrong with his proportions? He looks um, like a kid that like got his wish granted to be, <laughs> to be an adult. <laughs> I mean, it's just crazy to me because it's like the brown shoes that are like knockoff Tim's. <laughs> yeah, dude. Nasty ass old jeans that don't look like they fit him very good with the dad socks or like the granddad socks. He wanted some. Not even dad socks. He wanted some Tim's that black people don't wear. <laughs> That's Jeremy's Tim's. And then he. <laughs> And then he paired it with a black watch, which <laughs> I might as well just fucking throw the whole thing away. And Dude, then his t-shirt has three buttons on it. <laughs> it's a, like an RPG system where different loot, like, yeah. abilities, but they don't match they don't at all. Look good. But it is the strongest set. Yeah, know? yeah. Higher dexterity with that ugly watch. He needed the maximum riz for yeah. Brett Cooper to come over and watch Star Wars. Well, well, he could pause it every so often and be like, you know, they actually edited the scene to make Han shoot after Greedo. Does he... He likes Star Wars? Yeah, he's showing her the first Star Wars. A New Hope. Oh, I, and thought, his, I was hoping his, it was Phantom Menace. That would be so... Oh, cool. that would be awesome. He doesn't tell her about the other... It's like, this is the, this is the phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. This is the movie that began <laughs> a new generation of sci-fi. What's going on, gamers? Don't ever forget to subscribe to the Sad Boys podcast. Yeah, go watch Sad Boys. It's, it's up and running. I don't know if the Curtis one's out. It's the only good one. Keep an eye out. Spoilers, man. This is an exclusive. Oh, whoopsie. Damn, how long is it? Oh, it's not too bad. 14 minutes, 15 I only, minutes. I skipped through, uh, and then most of it is just them talking about the movie. And they they don't understand it very well. I like this uh, camera content. Oh it's my kind of funny. God. It's neither of us are streaming. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> not. It's Ronan also covered up. We're all covered. Jordan, everybody. <laughs> about... Oh, I need to have right. this emphasis. I hate talk. this and video. So I think Harrison Ford kind of has that attitude throughout the entire film. And that probably was who he was, you know, showing up. I don't really care. His character is also like that. So I think he is more relatable. Mm. But uh, yeah, that Star Wars. Um, I really do want you to watch the second one, though. That is the best one. Okay, well, if you want to watch me. Well, he's right about one thing. I want Brett to watch the prequels so that she and Scheller can discuss space politics. I want Brett Cooper to watch <laughs> Jump off of a damn cliff. Cooper!